Hello, I'm Rebecca, a saint artist, and I don't know about you, but it's like the middle of winter and I need some like, I need some brightness. I need to feel like I've been out in the sun because it's been some dreary snowy days lately. So I wanted to show you my favorite way to add a little bit of warmth to my skin even before I put my foundation on. And it's so simple and it makes a big difference and it just makes me feel better too. So hopefully it may help you, help you as well. So I'm going to start with our blush bronzer brush. That's a tongue twister. And then Bella bronzer. So Saint has, I think four now, four different cream bronzers. If you have not tried a cream bronzer, there's tons of powder bronzers out there and bronzers are so pretty. But if you haven't tried a cream yet, I highly recommend it. It just gives a dip. The only way I can explain it is the powder. Yeah, it makes you look darker and, and bronzed more, but the cream gives you more of a sun-kissed glow. And that's the difference. And that's what I love about a cream bronzer. My favorite one is the Bella. We have a, a few darker, we have a few lighter, but the Bella is just kind of my go-to, my favorite, and it looks good on all skin tones. So if you're getting a shade match from me, I will probably recommend Bella, but there are some other ones that you can look at. Anyways, so basically what I've done so far is all I've done is um, I've applied my sunscreen and my face oil like 20 minutes ago. So it's had time to soak into my skin. My skin is all fresh. No makeup is on. I've done a little bit of color correcting around my eyes, but that is it. So now I'm going to go in with my brush. I'm using the smaller side to apply it. And again, I'm using the Bella Cream Bronzer. So I'm just going to dip into this. Now, a lot of people ask, what's the difference between contour and bronzer? The contour is meant to create depth and shadow. The bronzer is meant to create that sun-kissed glow. So you wanna apply it anywhere you would picture the sun coming down and hitting your face. That's where you want to apply bronzer. That's my best way to explain it. So I'm going to apply it kind of in the middle of my forehead where it stands out the most. And you can even apply this too with your fingers. Either way, I just prefer the brush, but ah, I can hold on to the brush, but all the ways work fine. So I just apply it again on my forehead. I love it kind of on the top of my cheeks. So see how it's already adding that little bit of warmth. And then always, we always get a little sun kissed on our nose, right? Kind of across the bridge of our nose. I like to apply a touch on my chin. And then I always like to kind of, I shouldn't have put on my necklaces yet, a little bit just on my neck area, just to kind of blend, make everything kind of tied together nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna flip the brush around to the bigger side. And you can apply as much or as little of this as you want. That's totally up to you. Now I'm gonna flip the brush around to the bigger side, fluffy side, and I'm just going to soften that in those areas. So you're gonna see how it's really, and the sun just came out, so it just got <laughs> brighter outside. It's just going to really warm up my face. See the difference? It's just, just a little bit of warmth. It just makes me feel like I've gotten some sun, which I love. And that's it. That's how easy it is. And now I'll go in and apply my foundation on top of that. So you can stick around for that if you want, or I mean, that's how you apply bronzer before your makeup. Now I'm just gonna go in and quickly apply my 3D, 3D foundation. So I'm gonna switch brushes to the 3D brush. I'm going to start with my contour. Now you'll see why I apply this differently in different spots than my bronzer. So this one I'm going just right below my cheekbones. Create that depth and shadow. See how it creates just that little bit of, it's kind of like a push up bra for your cheekbones. Right at my hairline. There we go. I'm gonna put a little more on this side. Just a little bit more depth over there. Chisel out my jaw. Okay, touch down the side of my nose. But you can see how a, a nice thing too with this makeup is because it has, it's so pigmented, 
um, and it provides such great coverage with a little bit of makeup. I'm up, so I applied the bronzer, then I applied the contour, basically where I didn't, I didn't put it in the same spot. Then I'm going to go in with my main foundation color, which is what I shade match you for. And this one, I'm basically going to put anywhere, everywhere else, everywhere I didn't put that bronzer and contour. So that's the glory of this makeup too, is it's really like a one layer makeup, which I love. And you can see I'm just applying a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm just softly stippling in those areas. Cause I don't wanna take away that warmth that I added with the bronzer, but then my foundation color is going to provide that even looking skin tone. See that? See, I still have that warmth. Oh, I absolutely, I love bronzer. It's probably the one thing I can't live without, honestly. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And then I'll just add a touch of my blush. This is just sandstone. It's my go-to. It's my favorite. It's crazy how pigmented it is. You have to be really careful with the blush because you can get way too much very easily. But it's nice because it lasts so long. <laughs> okay. See how that just, I mean, I applied such little makeup and look at the, look how, look how pretty it is. It's just so smoothing and it's like a second skin layer. I'm just going to quickly fill in, where's my eyebrow brush? Right here. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows. We can talk about brows another day. I'll probably do just a separate video on how to fill in your brows because it, it really is so, so simple. But there is kind of a technique to it too, so. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that and we'll talk about brows. But don't forget about your brows. A lot of people don't even pay attention to them and they're such a, they make, I mean, they just change the whole look of your face when you fill in your brows. And when you have an awesome brush, it's amazing. The hardest part is getting them even, right? Okay, brows done. This one's darker, let's fix that. There we go. Okay, brows are done. Let's throw on some eyeshadow. So I'm not going anywhere today. I'm gonna keep eyeshadow simple. I'm gonna do like chai. Someone must be here. Throw on some chai. Just a really soft neutral. And then my go-to shimmer, which is Soulmate. We'll talk about, we'll talk about eyeshadows too because I am not a complicated eyeshadow person. I keep them so, so simple. Okay. Last but not least, mascara. Yes, I use a what's it called? You guys, I lost my train of thought. Conditioner. Eyelash conditioner. Okay, favorite mascara right now is from Thrive. I just, oh, I love bronzer. I can't go over how, what a difference just a little bit of bronzer makes. And it's crazy because I apply, when I, when I apply my bronzer that way, I can apply significantly less product of everything because it's just, it all just blends so perfectly together. I love it. Okay, so if you have any questions, comment and I will answer those for you. I will also put a link in the description of um, where you can find the bronzers. Just click on the Saint, uh, Saint link. If you have, again, if you have any questions or you wanna go 
get more and you want to shade match, that link is in there too. I'll just kind of put everything there so you have everything at your fingertips. And then whatever questions you have, just reach out. There's a lot of ways to contact me. So reach out and I will help you out. But warm that face up before your foundation and it just makes such a big difference. And it's just, uh, it's just a pretty lift during, not a lift, it's a pretty boost of happiness during the dead of winter. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or need any help. And thanks for watching.